No, we're absolutely not in a position to have the same attitude that we have for a stereo or a TV right now. All the vaccines that have been approved by Health Canada are excellent vaccines. And right now, you know, in the third wave with the surge that we're in, we really just need to make sure that we just get whatever vaccine we can get. Dr. Peter Uni, who is a professor and also the scientific director of the Ontario COVID-19 Science Advisory Table, is speaking to vaccine shopping. This is happening as many aren't aware of the actual facts when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccines. It's the same thing when it comes to the side effects, which is causing hesitancy. For example, a notion that there may be issues for pregnant women, but that was squashed during the trial phase. First of all, there were pregnant women in these trials, coincidentally, and these pregnancies were all okay. The only complications in the trials that, that I'm aware of were actually in the placebo group. And the other part is a lot of pregnant women have received these vaccines and it proved to be extremely safe. So it's completely clear. The AstraZeneca vaccine has been in the news for its potential side effects, which includes blood clots. But the medical community says it is very rare. The AstraZeneca vaccine and also the Johnson Johnson vaccine, they are associated with a small risk of very specific blood clots. And we all drive cars, or most of us at least, no? And the risk actually to die from a car accident is 35 times higher than to experience this very rare complication. Dr. Uni also wants people to be aware that you may experience soreness, chills, or a fever after the vaccination, and not to be alarmed. It actually means excellent news. The immune system reacts and does what it would do if it actually had been infected with the virus. So if you have fever, chills, soreness, etc., be pleased about it. You know, now you're developing antibodies and an immune reaction. Dr. Uni says you also shouldn't be alarmed if you don't experience those symptoms. City News also obtained a document from the doctor with in-depth information about symptoms you may experience and miss floating around online, and you can find it by visiting citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.